Hi everyone, it's Kelly here, and it's great to have you here. Today, I'll walk you through creating a crypto wallet. So a wallet is where you will hold your cryptocurrency, as well as where you will store the NFTs that you own. So to begin, there are two types of wallets. There are hot wallets and cold wallets. So hot wallet can be an exchange or a software wallet. So um, MetaMask or Coinbase, these are hot wallets and they're connected to the internet. So the great thing about these is that they're really easy to use and access, but because they're connected to the internet, they're really appealing targets for hackers. On the other hand, there are cold wallets. So cold wallets are hardware wallets like the Ledger or a Treasure these are hardware wallets. So when you have this kind of wallet, whatever interaction that you perform with your wallet, you must physically plug this hardware into your computer and enter a long passcode on it. So it's kind of like a two-factor authentication. And it's really important for you to create these connected saves because it's an offline authentication. When you don't have this plugged in, uh, you can kind of still see what you have in your wallet, but no interactions or transactions can be done on the blockchain. So it makes it harder for hackers to get in since it's offline and it's more secure and it's the safest solution to keep your crypto safe. So the wallet that I'll be demoing today will be a MetaMask and it's an Ethereum wallet. If you're looking at projects that are, for example, on Solana or other protocols, you will need different wallets like a Phantom wallet. So some notes on security before we begin. It's very important that you set this up in a private place. So no cafes, no public spaces. And also more on this later, but get a piece of paper and pen out. You'll want to write the private key, AKA seed phrase on a piece of paper and then put that piece of paper in a safe place and never ever 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 under any circumstance not even someone you love should you ever give your seed phrase hide it but do not lose it and ideally you will also want to pair this metamask wallet with a hardware wallet that i mentioned so before we create a wallet, first step is to set up an account on a reputable exchange to buy and store crypto. So this is where you transfer via bank account, debit card, credit card, etc. for cryptocurrency. You can kind of think of this as your crypto bank account. And there are many platforms out there where you can do this. Uh, Coinbase is one of them. I use Gemini and Binance also. It just depends on if that exchange supports the cryptocurrency that I would like to purchase. And since we're focusing on the Ethereum blockchain, we'll be buying ETH. And you shouldn't have a problem buying ETH on any of the exchanges that I just mentioned. So when you get on there and you try to set up your account, you will need to go through some KYC procedures. KYC stands for Know Your Customer. Basically, they'll need to verify your identity. And just a heads up, a lot of people don't know this when they first start, completing KYC requirements and funding fiat onto the exchange can take several days. So you have to make sure that you do this step well in advance of the date that you want to purchase any NFTs or coins. And also, if you're going to buy an NFT, you must have enough ETH to cover the cost of the NFT, but you also must be prepared to cover the cost of transferring ETH from the exchange to your wallet, as well as transaction fees, also known as gas, when purchasing your NFT. So you have to buy more ETH than the exact price of your NFT in order to cover the transfer and the transaction costs related to that NFT. So MetaMask is the wallet that I use to purchase NFTs. So you go to metamask.io and then you click download now. So the way that MetaMask works is that it's a Chrome extension. Uh, it should take you to here and you just click install MetaMask for Chrome. And then after arriving to the Chrome web store, you click add to Chrome. Add extension. Okay, once downloaded, you click get started. Create a wallet on the next page. So when you're doing this, please read everything so you're aware of all the different steps that you're doing. Um, a lot of it talks about the security steps and the things that you don't wanna be sharing with anyone. So if you're okay with that, then click I agree. And here you will create a password. 
So after you create your password, you'll be guided to watch a video. Uh, it'll tell you how to keep your funds and your NFT safe with your uh, secret recovery phrase. And sometimes it's called a seed phrase. And I would suggest that you watch it and make sure that you fully understand. And on the side here, there are some tips like how you'll never be sharing this with anyone and how you'll be storing your seed phrase in a secure place. And it's really, really vital for you to understand how important your seed phrase is. So once you've watched it and you understand, you click next. Okay, so here you will click the screen right here to unlock your secret recovery phrase. Uh, this is a 12 word seed phrase that you can use to restore your wallet if you ever lose your password. So this is the part where I'll have to go off video because nobody is supposed to know your seed phrase besides you. So it should be 12 words and it's just random words like tree, chair, cat, and they just give you random words and you write that down in the exact order that it appears. And once you write that down, hide it. Never ever store the seed phrase digitally. I don't want you to be putting it in your notes on your phone. Do not WhatsApp it to yourself and do not tell anyone what your seed phrase is. If someone asks you what your seed phrase is, you know that person is trying to scam or hack you. No tech person is ever gonna ask for it, so if you give it to someone, it's a one-way ticket to them taking everything out of your wallet. So it's really, really important that you have to remember, you have to protect your private key. And it's just as important as not losing it. So write this down, put it in a safe place, and do not forget where you put it. So on the next page, you will be verifying your secret recovery phrase uh, by putting the words into the box in the right order to confirm that you actually have it correct. So confirm. Yay! Congratulations, you've passed the test. So now you have a crypto wallet. And if you just click on the extensions icon, this little puzzle icon right here. All right, so now that you have your wallet, you can transfer the ETH that you bought on Coinbase or whatever exchange that you chose to use onto MetaMask. So your wallet is what will allow you to interact with and buy on any NFT marketplace like OpenSea. So right here you see that it says account one and you can rename it because uh, people have different wallets for different purposes. And then right underneath that you see this um, address that starts with OX. So this is your public wallet address. And if someone asks for your ETH address, you give them this. So this is a, this is a public key. And when you click this stacked paper button, you copy it and uh, I'll just show you what it looks like. So your whole address is like a really long series of, uh, series of words and numbers. So this address is for receiving any cryptocurrencies on the Ethereum wallet. Uh, one thing you have to be very cautious of is that once you sign a transaction on the blockchain, there are no take backs. So if you accidentally send something to the wrong address or you hit a wrong button, there is no undo. So when you're making your first transactions, really think check and double check and triple check whether you're sending it to the right address. So congratulations! Now you're in a position to buy, bid, or sell NFTs. Um, there are a lot of marketplaces out there like OpenSea, Rarible, Looks Rare, etc. Uh, featuring different arts and digital goods. While I won't detail them all here, you can explore and purchase many NFTs with your ETH. Some sites will have bidding mechanics, others will have straight buys. So either way you choose to purchase an NFT, the site will likely help walk you through the specific ways they integrate with your MetaMask wallet. Hope that was a nice overview of how to set up an ETH wallet. I think once you have a wallet, the possibilities are endless and I think you're gonna use it for years to come. Um, even if you're cautiously optimistic about whether crypto or NFTs is a thing, a wallet is going to be your digital identity as we transition into Web3. 
more on that later. Hope you liked my video and if you'd like to see more, like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Bye!